Oh, come on, Buffer guys. You keep obstructing me. I, I can't see anything because of you. Just get out of there. Come on. Don't eat the tweezer. No, he ate it. Oh, my God. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have a great video coming to you today because I will do a maintenance session on the very popular buffer fish flat nano tank that I did in one of the most popular videos actually on this channel lately. So stay with me. Welcome to the beautiful world of aquascaping. I love, I just love these little guys. They have this very peculiar, very special movement as they swim. They just kind of stay in the same place and they can rotate their eyes <laughs> in different directions. I just love them. They don't move like anything in the freshwater planted tank hobby. Before I start to work, I will have to show you what kind of new tools I have today. Because we've got the new Danella tools here. I've got the straight tweezers. Then I've got the uh, curved tweezer, which I don't like too much, but uh, some people seem to prefer this. Plant scissors curve, which is a great little tool for uh, trimming the foreground carpeting plants, which we have plenty of. And I've got the plant scissors spring, which is really great to trim mosses and other very light plants. They've got these four tools newly packaged. And also I've got an aquarium care set which includes most of them. Great, good for trimming. I'm gonna place it on the light. Please don't do this when, when the uh, scissors are wet. This is the uh, straight tweezers, which is really cool. You don't even have to get your hands wet in a tank like this. We have the clean air sponge, which we love. We just love that. It's great for cleaning the glass. We use this all the time. And then I've got the nice black, nice telescopic tool. Well, we don't need that for the shallow tank, do we? <laughs> what do we do? I have no idea. Confession time. I have no idea. I just have to check. I never checked it. So I really like to do ad hoc things here on this channel lately because it gives me a challenge. You guys can take part of the creative process. Maybe this is not going to be a regular maintenance. Maybe I'm going to tweak it a little bit. Maybe I'm not going to tweak it. Just leave it as it is. Highlight of my day, tank maintenance. Is that the highlight of your day as well? Let me know in the comments. So let me take a good look on this tank and tell you what we do. Okay, so definitely needs some trimming. I don't like how these rocks are aligned. That doesn't look natural at all. Also, the uh, pebbles are scattered all over the place. The pebbles are supposed to be near the rocks so that they kind of suggest that they fell off the rocks. Other than that, I can see some green algae on the rocks. That needs to be brushed off. Another thing that you will probably notice is that the drop checker is blue. When we turn these on manually so that you guys have a good view of the, of the uh, adjacent tanks, we didn't turn on the CO2. This LL curries tends to come up from the soil. So I, I kind of want to push it back before I start trimming. We have the Brasiliensis in the back that doesn't add anything to the scape, so maybe we can change that later. And I really love the way that this is visible from the top. We have an Eheim filter underneath it right now, and the lever is in the middle position. We're not using the full flow of this filter, even though we're using the big canister for the filter, for the filter bacteria to help us with uh, nitrifying the ammonia. So the filter is out and I will continue trimming. 
You can see that the Eleocaris had started to just grow. See the rhizomes? It started to grow towards the center. I'm kind of pulling that out. I don't want any Eleocaris to grow there. Trim it at this point. And then this whole thing is stopped, see? Right now, what I'm doing is I'm micromanaging this tank. I have to trim every yellow curry piece one by one, disturbing this buffer fish. This came just here hunting. I love it. So what do you feed these guys? Actually, they sometimes eat snails but we kind of found that they are loving the green aqua food that uh, Lori, our fish expert, is giving them. And they do sometimes get frozen food as well, so they have quite a diverse diet, so they thrive here. This here started to move forward, see? So I need to remove it. And then we have the second problem, the soy started to roll forward. Okay, so this is the magic tool right here. Check this out. So this is a magnet attached to an algae scraper, an old algae scraper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it down there and you can see that it's just taking up all these little soy particles. Aquascaping. Aquascaping. Plant maintenance. Plant maintenance. My only issue in here is that I see the bottom of these Elaokari species. I don't like that. don't like it at all. See? So it's all brownish. What can I do about this? Pushing it down more? Oh, come on, buffer guys. You keep obstructing me. I, I can't see anything because of you. Just get out of there. Come on. Don't eat the tweezer. No, he ate it. Oh, my God. realize that I would be much better off if I would open actually the tweezer that I never use and then I set the plant scissors spring. This guy is going to be ideal for getting into the small spaces. The biggest challenge in, in the maintenance of this tank is that I have to like continuously pay attention to the branches because they are intertwined with the plants and I while I'm trimming the plants I can see branches coming out from the soil actually just like the plants. Actually, what we have here is a Chihiro's Vivid Mini. That is a great light for this kind of tank, and I think that it brings out the colors of the fish. The middle part of this whole structure is out of the soil as well. This whole thing is out of the soil. My other fear is that during maintenance, somebody was sucking out water and you know trying to vacuum the plants and then it just tore them out can you see anything chubby from what i'm doing actually yeah you can great Put the pebbles back, leaving some open space for the uh, sand to cover everything in there. Good thing that we have a description in the videos and that description will contain everything that we use. Gear, fish, plants, hardscape, everything. So if you guys have any questions about what we used, just refer to the description. Okay, so see what I did? I kind of cleaned the foreground where I could so that we don't have pebbles in the foreground. That doesn't look natural. And they're scattered all over the place without any concept. And I would like to keep them near the bottom of these rocks. That looks a lot more natural. Brand new ADA La Plata sand. And using the grandma's cup. 
that will widen this path so the horizon point will have a lot more sand. So the tank looks great from this side as well because when people coming from are coming from the fish room they're just going to pass by this tank and they're going to see this tank from from the left. Before we move on, this is a good opportunity to clean the remainders of the... See this? You can just get rid of all the remaining stuff like that. The metallic brush doesn't do anything to the wood. You can apply it a little bit. It might remove some uh, bark. Other than that, it would just clear it up nicely. It's even better to use it on the wood. I cannot see anything in the background, unfortunately. So I might have to change some water and then come back with the brush after that again. The pro picker will remove the residue that was glue. using the Danela towel for the first time. Okay, so I quite like the fact that uh, this path is leading all the way to the back. Now the uh, Eleocaris is nice and tidy. So I'm gonna go see if we have some in vitro parva because that will be smaller and it will look better in this tank. stay down and it will just develop big root structure as all crypts do. Rotala indica bonsai. That grows about this high if you trim it and it will get a little bit yellowish at the ends. That would look great on the right side of the tank graduating down towards the middle. Yeah, it will stay down. It will look like nothing right now at the end, but it will look great after a week or so. Let's add a little bit of pebbles in here because this looked artificial. The graduation between the plants and the rock. Okay, so let's do another water change. Chubby was helping me with the hoses. Everybody's working today. Big maintenance. Two and a half hours, not bad. Stay away from my suction side hose. Stay away, no. We are done with the maintenance. I am done. Thanks guys for the help. Mickey Chubby and also Tony. I think that this got a lot clearer than, than I thought. And uh, let me know what you think. Is it an improvement or just, you know, similar but better? Sometimes you guys tell me that you like the original version better. That is usually because the original version most of the times looks more natural because the plants are overgrown you can see a jungle it looks wild while after maintenance it looks cleaner it looks tidier and you don't expect tidy things in the nature right but when when an aquarium is overgrown it cannot be maintained as such for a long time anybody who has a tank which is overgrown knows what i'm talking about Okay, so I really hope that you guys liked this video. If you did, please do not forget to hit this button, which is below the video, not this one, but this one. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for staying here. Thanks for liking this Bufferfish 
improvement work. Cheers.